Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our class. This is just a quick note to complete an idea that came yesterday from the session that dealt with the mummification of Joseph and Jacob, Israel. We were saying that unlike the natural procedure of mummification in Egypt, when the inner organs are removed from the deceased, and instead of the their mass, cotton is put inside and all kinds of preservations material were put inside. The mummification of Joseph and Jacob was different, entirely different. Their bodies were not touched. On their belly button, according to the book of Zohar, on their belly button, the anointed oil was put. In Hebrew, Shemin HaMishcha. Shemin HaMishcha. Shemin is oil. Mishcha is something not liquid, but more solid, like a cream. When the oil is so condensed that it's not liquid anymore, but more like a cream. Mishcha, like the letters of Mashiach. Mishcha is written with four letters. Mem, Shin, Chet, He. Mishcha. It's a cream. In the modern Hebrew, Mishcha is a cream that you put on, on wounds. So, on their belly button, the Shemin Hamishcha was put, and the belly button is an opening. Every baby which is born, not just among humans, also among animals and cattle, is connected in his mother womb with, with a cord. From this cord, he gets the nutrition and air and all what he needs from the cord, connecting cord. This name of the cord in Hebrew is Hevel Hatabur. Hevel Hatabur, the rope or the cord of the belly button. And why do I mention this term? When the baby is born, a few minutes after, the midwife or people who attend labor, sometimes it's the mother if she's alone, they cut the, the connecting cord for the baby does not need the inner supply from the mother. The belly button is an inner connection. He can breathe on its own powers and the cord is not needed anymore. And so the baby continues in his life and so to speak this opening the belly button taboo is closed all of our life here on planet earth we live when our belly button is closed meaning this is also spiritual meaning what does it mean when we are here on earth on the last letter hey we in a way lose the connection with the inner wisdom inner understanding it's not just a physical act of cutting the cord it's just also a spiritual one but when Jacob and Joseph were mummified Shemin Hamishcha was put on their belly button and it was activating again the and what was happening what is the inner happening in this procedure the belly button is like a little plate or a little surface of which the Shemen HaMishcha is hosted. The Shemen is moving through. Shemen HaMishcha is activating the system. 
that used to be working as us being fetuses. So Shem and Amishra is moving through the belly button and uses the intestines. And in a way, the more the shaman goes into the system, our lower part of the body, the shaman goes inside and the what is existing in the intestines is going out on the back side of the body. In this case, the body gets cleaned from the remainings of food, of digestion, and nobody opens the bodies or interfere with the organs. The, the bodies of Joseph and Israel are remain complete because they're also representation or manifestation of the image of God and, and not to harm the image of God. They were not cut open. The organs were not taken, but we let something, because shemen oil is not just material. When we light, we put a fire into oil, it becomes light. So shemen has this ability, not just to be material, but it's something which is non-material because it can give us light. So in a way, their mummification was spiritual, not physical. And in a way, the natural course of things took care of what was remained in their bodies, lower part of the body. Another aspect which I would like to survey is the name of belly button in Hebrew, navel in English. In Hebrew, tabu, tabu. The name tabu is divided into two parts, tov, o, tov, o, the light is good. The belly buttons of humans are in the middle of the body. From the belly button and up, tov o, this is the tree of life. From the belly button and down, this is the tree of knowledge. And from there, going to Egypt. So, what is the meaning of putting the anointed oil on the belly button in spiritual form or in an abstract form? Shemin, Shemin, in Hebrew, three letters, Shin, Mem, Nun, Sufit. Shin is 300, Mem is 40, Nun is 50, together 390, like Shemaim, Shemaim heavens, also has the numeral volume of 390. Let's go back to Tabu, Tov O. The light is good, and the light is when the sages speak about light, they mean yod, ten spheres. So, tabu is tov o, and what is good, and what is good, the letter yod. Tov o, tov yod. Yod, ten, is good. This is what the the meaning of the belly button is in Hebrew, tabu, tov o, tov, ten spheres. Now, when the shemen oil was put on the belly button and the volume of shemen is 390 and we divide 390 into 10, the 10 spheres, tov o, we get the value of 39. 39, 390 divided into 10, the result is 39. 39 is also the volume of the first three letters of the tetragrammaton with the filling of the letter Aleph. The first three letters of the tetragrammaton are Yod, Hey, Vav, Yahu. Yod in its filling, Yod, Vav, Dalet is 20. Hey with its filling of Aleph is Hey, Aleph, which is 6. Together they make 26. 
and Vav with a filling of Aleph is Vav Aleph Vav makes 13 and all together 26 plus 13 is 39. So in other words there is a equivalation of form between the word Shemin, Shemin, well, Shemaim, heavens, and the filling of the three letters of the tetragrammaton Yahoo with the letter Aleph. So this was our little conversation for this morning, more complex. Wishing you a beautiful day and a wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.